Okay, so we're starting back at Q3 here, and well, Golem is absolutely wrecking at the minute. We have lost two heroes, I, I didn't quite see them uh, get lost, but Golem is just absolutely wrecking. Now, it's worth noting these, he is a ranged hero as well, which is good, so he won't be jumping over any walls, and it's proc. No matter when your heroes die in the HBM, it will still heal your allies as well, which is actually really, really useful. Uh, compared to Druid, who can't really do anything like that, obviously. Um, <laughs> they see Vlad with the life drain. I really wish I had Vlad. Oh, I wish I had Vlad. One day it might happen. Well, that's a decent amount of attack we're doing there. It's only a 5 out of 10. It, you know, it could have better talents. This is just a comparison test, really, and it, it's still wrecking in HPM here. I love the prop, by the way. It's just all purple. I love the colour purple. It's kind of cool. Uh, okay, so uh, Q4, uh, we should make it through Q5, <laughs> and Golem might just uh, help us out here. It's actually doing pretty good, uh, healing all the heroes by the amount it is, to be fair. Um, with Vlad with that life drain, wow, <laughs> it's doing quite a good job. Uh, I think it might be worth noting, actually, that um, do you think that the sweeping feature is making us lazy because I don't know I think in some ways it might well be uh, I'm not 100% on this it's just a speculative thing but if you think about it I think it might just make us a little lazier because you only have to farm one HBM wave and you've just one HBM one time and you can sweep it forever <laughs> I don't know they might need to balance it somehow let's just put it that way uh, Okay, so we're at Q5, and I think Golem's going to crash out here, unless it yeah has a revive, which unfortunately didn't work out. We lost Q5. Uh, now let's uh, replace him with Druid. If we find him down here, and uh, let's see how he does HBM with Druid. Starting again on Q3 here, and seems things seem to be going surprisingly a little bit different uh, in this one. Druid actually seems to be doing the better job when it comes to healing these heroes. Uh, I'm not sure if there's any sort of like glitches or anything with the new hero as yet, because I have heard of a couple of them that I don't know if it affects this game mode as such, but um, whatever. I'm just going to presume that everything's working correctly and as it should and well. To be honest, I'm surprised because Druid's actually doing the better job here. It's healing, his healing range is actually pretty good. Now, the issue with Golem, uh, it appears that its healing range isn't all that good, to be honest. And it does, I don't think it actually heals itself when it's on its prog. That's the issue, really. So, Druid can not only heal itself, but its healing range is actually a little bit better. Um... Okay, Pumpkin Dukes died. We've got a few heroes left. Um, we had two at the start of Q5 when Golem was on. Um, so we'll we'll see we'll see what happens. Um, Vlad's probably going to try and solo this dinosaur because it's a, just a bit of a tank. I hate that dinosaur. It's fucking horrible. <laughs> oh god. Well, Vlad's just died, so that's no good. <laughs> Uh, okay, so... I'm hoping the Orcs has got a revive. No, no revive. I'm just going to stop that. Now, as far as I've seen, Druid appears to do the better job when it comes to the HBM, which is really, really weird, and I actually didn't expect it, but it's, I think it's more to do with the healing range that's uh, sort of brought it on itself, really. Uh, now, let's swap over to Golem again. Uh, let's try some heroes trials. Uh, we've got a few entries. That's good. So let's do some level 12s for sake of it. We've got a pumpkin jewel. Let's see how it fares here. Um, not that great, unfortunately. <laughs> pumpkin jukes are really hard to take out. I hate them. Uh, let's try a different one, shall we? Let's try druid. Okay, that's more doable, I guess. Uh, let's see what happens here then. I got Santa Boom on the pro. That's cool. Uh, come on, Golem. Uh, okay, so it's like an area of effect-based damage, but uh, 
it doesn't I don't know it just doesn't seem to be a appearing to do a whole lot it's, it's kind of odd to be honest I'm a little bit surprised at the weaker performance by Gruen here still got a couple of heroes left <laughs> come on you can do this one I know we can do this one at least um, I think we can anyway this is on my mate's account so I don't know how good its ability is really a proc from pumpkin juice would be nice by now nah not going to do it unfortunately. Uh, let's put on Druid now. Uh, let's see if we can get a decent opponent uh, here. Something similar. Snowzilla, I'd say that's fairly equal. <laughs> I'd, say, I'd say that's obviously equal to be honest. Uh, okay, it's doing good so far. Gotta wait for all the snow cells to carry to the base. Damn, this is taking a while. Holy shit. So, there's a quick question of you guys. What kind of talent do you prefer on Druid? Because I've. A lot of people say Berserk is better than Revive, but I mean, I don't know. I mean, I'd rather have Revive, to be honest, because I, I think it's just better for a lot of different situations. As you can see, it's just absolutely wrecked through that Hero's Trials wave there. So basically, what it appears to be is, on paper, Ghoulon looks to be the stronger hero, but in practice, well, Druid seems to be edging it ahead so far. Uh, we'll see how it goes on in the different um, in the different game modes within the game. This will be a multi-parter, by the way. So uh, hopefully you enjoyed this, guys. Don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe for more future updates. This has been Antrox here. Until the next time, I'm out of here. Peace out.